Hello. Um, I just wanted to talk about the importance of uh, learning chord melodies. Um, I have been playing guitar a long time and I didn't really start learning chord melodies or especially jazz chord melodies until recently. Or like recently, I mean like uh, a year or two. Um, I mean, I, I've done some finger style stuff, but I never really learned an actual chord melody or I learned very few. And in the past year or two, I've been learning more. And what it's making me realize is um, chord melodies force you to find and use different chord shapes than the ones you're used to using. So it's a very good exercise in that. So I'm gonna use um, Round Midnight as an example. You know, I'm gonna get a little bit closer here, but so it starts on the E minor seven, right? And with chord melodies, you always wanna keep the melody in the top string or as close to the top as you can. So the, these two strings usually is where the melody is gonna happen. So around midnight, I start on this, you know, you have this E minor, E minor seven chord, and you can start the melody here. Just kind of going up the chords. So, I'm sorry. It goes to that, um, minor seven flat five again the, the melody note is on the top then then I go to this um, let's see it's yeah it's an F minor seven flat five that time the melody note is on the third string actually and then that's just a uh, you know a B flat seven uh, flat five or sharp five Then you go back to the to the E minor seven Melody again is kind of going up on the first string The chord in the sheet is a a flat seven, but I kind of think that the um, a diminished sounds kind of cool so I do Again, the melody is kind of still on the first string. Now, this forces you to play chords that start on the um, fourth string instead of the fifth string or the sixth string, which is where guitar players usually play chords. So learning chords on the fourth string is, you know, very helpful. Also keep in mind, seven chords are very similar to diminished chords. So it's supposed to be an A flat seven there, but I do an A seven. It's only a one note difference. And then it's kind of a walk down, uh, two, two five walk down. Starts on the um, B minor, B minor seven. The melody notes in the second, second string. Seven, B flat seven, E flat seven. Then going up to the A flat minor seven. This should be again a D seven. Usually you play it here, but I'm playing this on the starting on the fourth string. I actually, again, prefer diminished here. It adds a little bit more tension. So that's a D diminished. Back to the E minor seven. This time I do go down to the uh, sixth string for the A seven because it's a passing chord. now and then you can just play notes you don't always have to play chords you can do you can actually play like for that part and then I go to B7 that's just a bend on the um, 
third string. And then I do a hammer on, so this is a B flat seven, I do a hammer on with these two fingers. Or you can hammer on with both of them, or you can just hammer on with one of them. So this kind of stuff forces me to think about different chord chord shapes, different ways to play chords, you know. So here it is again, slow. Sound, it would sound like this. Mm -hmm. 